Hi guys, so today we are discussing the top 20 SQL interview questions. I mean the most common interview questions and today we will cover some questions. So first one is what is the difference between delete and truncate statements? So in most of the interviews they ask this question and often people uh, like they do not know what to answer for this. So you have to answer it to the point. So delete, what does it do? It will delete based on a specific condition. So it, it will uh, have where clause and whatever if, if condition you give based on that, it will be deleted. So it can be rolled back also. But truncate, what it will do? It removes all rows from a table and it is comparatively faster than delete and it do not have any where clause. So this is the thing which you have to tell. So for delete, it will delete the specific rows and it will have where clause and it can be rolled back. But for truncate, it will remove all rows from table. It is generally faster than delete and it does not support where. The next question is what are constraints? So constraints means it is like some kind of conditions which are applied on the column. So here these are some of the constraints primary key foreign key, unique key, not null and check. So primary key, what does it do? It will uniquely identify each record in a table. What will foreign key do? It will link the tables, foreign key. What will unique key do? This constraint is all the values in the columns should be unique, means all the values should appear only one time. Next constraint is not null, means uh, the columns should have, uh, should not have any null values. Then next one is check means we have to apply certain conditions and only the conditions which uh, pass that uh, ch uh, check only those uh, con those values will be present in that column so these five constraints you can do then moving forward what is the difference between care and var care too so care is a fixed length data type so always it uses the specified length but var care too it is not fixed length how much space you uh, the particular word or uh, text needs that much space only it will take so this is the main difference care is fixed length whereas var care too is variable length next question is what are some of the joins so this is the like the most frequent question which they ask so there are uh, mainly these four you can tell inner join left join right join and outer join so inner join, it will give the values matching from both the tables. Left join will return all records from left table and the matched records from the right. Right join will return all the records from the right and the matched records from the left. Full outer join will return all the records where there is a match or not, it is not a problem. So these four, you have to learn it properly. Then what do you mean by table and field in SQL? So table... It is, it, it is a database object and it consists of rows and columns. Field, it is a single column within a table that holds specific attribute. So table contains rows and columns. Field is a single column. Next, moving to next question. What do you mean by DBMS and what are its different types? So DBMS means it is the software that manages data, supports storage, retrieval and manipulation. So different types, you can mention these four types, hierarchical, Network DBMS, Relational DBMS, Object Oriented DBMS. So uh, these four you have to mention Hierarchical DBMS, Network DBMS, Relational DBMS and Object Oriented DBMS. And if they ask, you can just say these things, these one words uh, for each database, you can remember this one one word. So Hierarchical DBMS, it will be tree like structure. Network DBMS, it will be graph structure. Relational DBMS, it will be table structure object oriented dbms will cover the object oriented principles so these four you have to remember moving to next question this is also one of the most frequent question what are the different subsets of sql so for this question what happens is sometimes we know the answer but we do not understand what they are asking so so keep this in mind different subsets of sql means you have to tell ddl dml dcl and TCL. So uh, the DDL is data definition language. It defines the database structure. So create, alter, drop, truncate. Remember these four. The next is DML, data manipulation language. It will manipulate data. So insert, update, delete. Next uh, data control language. So this one will give the control access to the data. So grant and revoke. Then we have transaction control language. It will manage the transaction. So commit and roll back. So before ev almost everybody knows the answer for this, but they do not know what is the question. So someone when they ask uh, what are the different subsets. So you do not know what different subsets. So remember this different subsets is DDL, DML, DCL and TCL. And then you have to answer this thing. Next question is, 
final question for today. What is the difference between SQL and MySQL? So SQL is standard language for querying database. Whereas MySQL is a relational database management system. So this is the only thing you have to remember. SQL is the language. MySQL is a software tool. So if you like the questions, please uh, subscribe and like the video so that we'll have more videos like this.